Hey, I'm Kaiser, and welcome back to the Murder at the Griffin House update. This is Victim Peter. You'll notice that there's about, nah, just over five hours remaining. They're an NPC, and there's not a lot of time remaining to get this cleared. The problem is, I don't have anybody to clear them yet. They're also a premium character as well. In this first week, though, there is a character in a costume skin. The character is Detective Cleveland. And the skin is going to be Rich Widow Lois. This will be the first to go for, and I just have to get one more of these, what are they called? Candelabras. But uh, I'm going to run out of time. So I'm going to skip it with the tanning clams down below. So I can use them to battle, said Victim Peter. Trophy. Ooh, so I'm only 25% done, but if I get this done in time and get them all before the update ends, 35 clams. I inherited all my dead husband's money. I'm rich. For someone in mourning, you're buying an awful lot of new clothes. Everyone grieves in their own way. Plus, I need a new hot wardrobe if I'm going to start dating again. Which app is the one for real relationships? Because that's not the one I'm signing up for. Ooh, two hours. I'm going to have to skip this also. Oh my god. Let's buy shoes, makeup, jewelry, whatever we want. I have all my husband's money to spend. Can we go to Sephora? Absolutely not. I inherited a fortune. I plan on it lasting longer than one afternoon. I often hear about that place. I guess it must be really good. Rich Widow Lois drop a rose on a grave and count blood money. But we've got Drop a Rose on the Grave, which is a one hour quest, Count Blood Money, Spend Peter's Inheritance, which drops blood for Detective Cleveland, Fight the Victim Peter, which I'll do in a second, Go for the Gold, Shot her Pearls, Fit Her Gloves, Wipe Her Tears, Hide Her Face, and Haunt His Wife. Required Victim Peter, so it looks like this character actually has two animations, but one of them requires a premium character. Alright, so let's do the animated quests. And then, actually, no, you know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to fight Victim Peter because they show the animation for the character. So I don't have to do the one hour quest, Drop a Rose. She should do that quest for Fight Victim Peter. You know what? Sounds great. Let's see. Am I, am I right? Because that's been the pattern in the past. Lois, you're not dropping the rose. Well, maybe I'm incorrect then. I could have sworn that usually they show an animation. But it doesn't look like they're doing it this time. So just imagine Lois dropping a rose in a grave, okay? Maybe I'll mock something together, right? There's a rose on the screen. There's a grave. Done. Next up, Detective Cleveland. So I've got oh of seven, really? Ah, I gotta get it by killing victim Peter. Got the blood, doing really good. 7 of 12, which are uncommon, and these are different characters. Two characters, and then the third character, which we the lowest when you get them. 11 of 20 fancy shirts from the Griffin Manor. These are from the guests. Here. And you'll notice if you do get them to pop up, when you send Joe off, for example, you should get them most of the time as they are common. And finally, we've got the coffins. O2 from the hearse, and not there yet, I'm still working on the second one, but it's the third prize, and I'm getting pretty close to actually getting this complete. This is really close actually, I'm just trying to think of what I want to do here, because I'm just thinking about this for a second, because the next particular quest in this, part 5, it wants me to clear this victim Peter. So I think what I'm going to do is if I can get enough of the currency before... I tap Victim Peter when it's ready to go, then I can move on to part 5, then automatically tap this, and get credit for it. That might sound like a ramble to people, but in my mind, it does make sense, I promise you. A tip, by the way. Try to find the walkthrough for this. Usually Family Guy Addicts has one, and then usually, you'll be able to get ahead and see what you need. So that's what I'm doing. Let's look at the premium characters first of all. We got Victim Peter from the week 1 here. 
Police Dog, which is going to probably be next week, probably in a mystery box. The third and final week will be True Crime Fan Meg. And then Mage Stewie is actually part of the season pass. But we need to look at the free characters. I'm guessing it's probably way at the bottom. I'm looking for a times 35 on the side. With the clams are, blah. Times 25, times 50. These are all complete. Aha, here we go. So there's Rich Widow Lois there for the first one. Obviously, Detective Cleveland, which I'm working on right now. Next week is going to be Forensic Dr. Hartman. And then in the final week, Eccentric Millionaire Quagmire. And that's basically it. So if you're playing this update, how are you doing so far at the moment? If you're not, I hope you are enjoying these videos for this update. Usually the first week isn't too, too bad. And then it gets progressively more difficult as we progress. Hopefully that's not going to be the case this time. Hopefully I can get these all. Like I said, if I get all these characters in time, the free characters. 35 clamps. So thank you very so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everybody!